Hello and welcome, this is Daniel of Daniel Game Studios. This video will be an update on the game engine that I am working on. For anyone who did not see the last video, I am making a game engine based off the one made by Raskatami, and I will be implementing my own physics system based off of a Marching Cubes approach. Since the last time that you've looked at it, I've done a significant amount of work, both engine and editor side. When it comes to the engine, I have implemented a system for running and updating script components that exists in the game. Now, the engine, whenever it starts up, will, uh, will initialize the game, I'll return that result to make sure that it initialized over to the main function, which then, when the engine initializes, it will set this is running to true which will constantly run the engine update function it will um which will run the engine update function and then it will check to see if a quit message came which would be something like going into uh going into task manager and hitting kill task or pressing the x on the exe and then it will shut down the engine gracefully freeing up all the memory making sure there are no memory leaks um and it will return zero to quit the program. Uh, this update function is defined here, if I peek definition, uh, is defined here where this void update will take in a float delta time, which I just put 10f in here for now, but in future that will be a proper delta time, uh, which will then check through the, um, which will then check through the auto, uh, sorry, which will then check through a pointer for the entity scripts and it will update the scripts with the delta, it'll run their uh, update function. So what it'll do is it will look through all the scripts, find the functions called update and run them. Though that's uh, so far everything I've done engine side specifically that I can remember. Uh, editor side. When it comes to the editor, I've done significantly more work on the editor. I now have a system for automatically adding scripts to the engine. Um, this is uh, this is done in C++. All of the scripting is done in C++, uh, where basically will take uh, it'll basically take everything needed and it will have auto generate project files. Um, all this code is responsible for auto generating project or sorry for auto generating uh, C++ and H files to work with the engine in a new project uh, I believe here in a new project I create I utilize a template to create the um, project so if I look over uh, over here at this test, I have a uh, test out solution. This was auto generated using the engine. Here's just an example of that uh, auto generating and work. Let me make sure I'm in debug editor. If I go over to create project, empty project, and I'm just going to do. Um, I honestly. Uh, yeah, there, there we go. So this will start up this project here, and it will um, try and build the game code, though there's nothing to build right now. So let's create a new script. I have this little pop-up box. If I put in a script name, I'm just going to do name. This will add name.cpp and name.h to the game code path. If I click create, little animation here, it'll open up. Visual Studio for us, and these will already be auto-generated and filled out uh, with everything needed to allow the engine to work. Then, if I just uh, make sure there's something to compile, I'm going to do um, int i. Let's see, int i uh, i plus plus. And then, yeah int i i plus plus just something to compile so that'll happen every single update build succeeded um, if I then put a breakpoint on this and I press f5 in the engine to run oh there we go uh, 
the I'm still trying to figure out why that sometimes doesn't work, but if I do this, um, okay, it appears to do nothing. Using on initial as i equals zero. And i equals zero, and then I'm going to if I if I uh, mod yeah, if I mod a hundred uh equal equals zero. I'm really just trying to get this program to you know do something. Uh what do you mean using uninitialized memory? Okay, not under uninitialized anymore. Okay, so let's try that again. Build game. Now the only way we know this program's doing anything is because uh of breakpoints as it doesn't have a console output anymore. We're making games not console apps. Somewhere it has to count this as having focus. There we go. Oh, wait a second. This needs to be connected to something. I almost forgot about that. So if I create a game entity, and I'm just going to name this entity uh, test, I can now show if you uh, go under here, some of these don't actually have anything, but I'm just going to do add name, build game uh, to rebuild the game, make sure everything's all up to date. Now if I press uh, F5, Handled exception. Well, that's a new one. Uh, let's continue. Exception user unhandled. System interrupt error result. E failed. Return from a call to comp. Okay, well, that's a new one. Well, I have a project that works, so I'm gonna have to look into that. But I do have a project that works. It makes uh, it makes beeps. Going to load up test two because there had to have been something wrong with the other one. But uh, this project has a script called example which makes beeps. So if I press uh, F5, once this that's all focused, I know this works. You should be hearing those uh, beeps right now. I have to stop that because it's probably kind of annoying. But uh, yeah, that's basically using, if I go to test two, basically what that's doing is uh, in example.cpp, it includes the windows.h, and then it takes a static u32i. U32, actually, if I peek its definition, comes straight from the editor, uh, from a primitive types in the editor. It's basically uh, a conversion uh, conversion name. So that comes straight from the editor showing that we are able to use editor code. Or sorry, engine code, uh, not editor code. They're two separate things. Um, and that allows us to build a game. If I go over to where it is here in x64 debug, uh, in the debug you see this game.bin. Uh, game.bin is the binary file that the editor has to load in order to work. Uh, though that's not needed for the or sorry, that's needed for the engine to work. Though it's not needed in the editor version, which just creates a DLL. So in the editor, it creates a DLL. In the uh, in the standalone, it creates a bin file and a test exe. This uh, exe, I'm just going to start it up with CMD just so I can uh, quit it easy. Uh, going to test two dot exe. Oh, well, booey. Uh, there has to be somebody to close it. The Microsoft crap. Okay, that gets annoying. There we go. I'm working on making a window for the game right now. It's just uh, not ready to show off yet. Uh, though that'll most likely be in my next update. Um, oh yeah, also, another thing to know, I actually, let me just close this properly, uh, I actually have a, um, I've actually had to make an update to how the API works, so, uh, how the API worked originally was that it was all one file under one API name, though I changed that in order to 
make the code more manageable. So I have the engine API which handles loading and unloading of the game code DLL and uh, script creation and getting script names. Whereas the entity API uh, works with the actual definitions of what a script is, what a transform is, uh, how the components are listed. So this basic, this works on components and entities, whereas, um, whereas uh, this one works on loading and unloading of stuff. Uh, though that's everything I have planned for today, thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about game engine programming, I will have the videos by Arash in the description below, along with my Discord server and the GitHub link for the engine. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe for more game dev content and UE5 tutorials. Have a great day. Goodbye.